Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to add decimals up to at least three decimal places. Um, before I go into it, let's quickly just talk about what is a decimal. I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can because hopefully you know, if you don't, that's okay. Um, so, I here have a number line between 0 and 10. Um, they're called what we call whole numbers or integers. When we introduce decimals, the word decimal DEC just stands for 10, 10 immols, so decimals. So it's basically the idea of having a whole number and then breaking, up, breaking it up into parts. So if we look at um, our first line of decimals uh, of, of place value, um, we break up our, each whole number into 10 parts and we call these tenths. So this is what it looks like. So if I just broke it up into 10 parts, pretend it was really even. So I can do it into 10 parts here. I can do 10 parts over here. It doesn't matter where. So for now, I'm just going to focus between 0 and 1. So if I broke it out up into 10 different parts and picked one. So if I said, let's say, what's the fifth one? So here's the fifth one. Um, so what would I say? We call this 0.5 because I'm, I'm at the zero right here, and I've gone um, five parts in to zero before it gets to one. So I call these tenths, because I've broken up each whole number into 10 parts. Now, if I wanted to add another number here, um, I would have to break up each one of these parts. So if I zoom it in as close as I can, and I look at um, my 5, I'd have to break up this into 10 equal parts and imagine I have 10 lines between here and here. Yes, in this little box here, I've, I'd have to break that up into 10 parts and then we call that hundredths because now instead of there being it broken up into 10 parts in this section, it's now gone got a hundred little lines, so I call them hundredths. So if I again put it at the, let's say, the, the second one, so if I uh, put it in the second line that I've drawn here, um, then I can call it 0 0.52. It's important that we don't call it um, 0 0.52 because it's not 52. Uh, the idea is it's gone 5 tenths of the way past 0 and then gone 2 thousandths of the way past that as well. So it's all each number you add is just you're breaking up into another 10. So you can go all the way up until you know there's a number called Google which is yeah you, you, you're gonna be sitting here for a very very long time trying to write the amount of zeros that are in a Google. Um, so you could keep going that all the way you wanted to go across the number line, but um, that's going to take a very long time and I'm not going to do that for you. But hopefully that makes sense. So here I've just quickly got an example of um, between 0 and 1, yeah, so that's just this bit that I've shown you here, and if we broke that up into 10 parts just looking at between 0 and 0 0.1, which would be, you know, this just between here and here, so it's a very small little part, um, then I go down to uh, my thousandths, sorry, this is hundredths, and then if I broke that up into 10 parts and zoomed that in, I've now got thousandths. Yeah, so the more digits you have, it means the more zoomed in in the number line that you, you are and the more lines you've had to draw. So thousandths mean that I would have had to draw a, a thousand lines between on my original number line a thousand lines in this little tiny square here I have to have a thousand lines broken up between zero and one so to get to ten thousand it means I've drawn ten thousand lines now do we actually have to do a number line and draw it no that's just a way of thinking of it so let's go to the actual question oh the question is not point six point seven so my question is um, add 0 0.08 with 0 0.07, yeah, so I'm putting them together. So I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to just uh, represent it at, in colors. So my eight is going to be in purple. So you can see I've got eight discs that are all worth 0 0.001. And then I've got seven orange 
discs that are um, all again worth 0 0.08. I'm just gonna maybe make my highlight a bit thicker. Okay, so let's draw it in. So I've got eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go five across so it's easy to count up to 10. And then I'm gonna go orange. So let's put in some orange and I need seven of them. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you had noticed, uh, this car, uh, row here is worth the eight ones. This one is worth the seven ones. And this one will be what they are together. Yeah, what, what it will be when I plus them together. So uh, we need to now count them. So I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if I want to write the answer, um, I could say I've got zero ones, because yeah, I've, got, I've got none here, and I've got none there, I've got none there. Uh, here I have my decimal point. Uh, so you can see the line is there, the decimals go. Um, I've got no tenths, right now I've got no hundredths, and if I said I've got uh, 15, um, thousandths, you actually can't say I have 15 thousandths because remember in place value each uh, place value, each line, you can only have one digit which means the maximum number you can have is 9. Once it gets to 10 you have to regroup. So that's what we're actually going to do. We don't have 15. We're going to need to have to move 10 of these 15 and move it across to my hundredths column. So I'll show you what that looks like visually. So I, I get 10 together. So I've got eight here and two here. So if I bring, this is 10 dots and I bring them over to here, it's actually going to be represented as one hundredth. Yeah, because one hundredth is equal to 10 thousandths. Yeah, if we go back to the, the number line again, um, hopefully you are able to sort of see why that is. So one hundredth is the same as one, sorry, is the same as ten thousandths. Now we've done that, uh, and I just rub this out so it's not so confusing. So I've actually moved all of these over to here. Oops. Um, now what do I have? I've got one left over. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So my new number is I've got one here and I've got five here. So my answer is the answer is 0 0.015, not 0 0.15. Yeah, it's very important. So this is worth zero, this is worth one, this is worth five. So the answer is 0 0.015. Or in other language, you could say 0, 0 0.0 tenths one hundredth and five thousandths. It's really important to add the THS onto what you're saying um, because there's a big difference between a thousand and a thousandths. A huge difference actually. Uh, one quick last thing. I've shown you actually how to do it the hard way. This is just to explain what is decimals, what are we doing, why do we regroup. The actual way to do it is this. So I'm glad you've you've waited to the end because uh, you'll actually see this is way well 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 easier. So I've got 0 0.008 plus 0 0.007. So this is what we call vertical addition. Um, just remember that you have to have your place value equal. So let's pretend the question wasn't this and I had uh, a miss missing a zero so that it was zero seven. Uh, I'd have to make sure I add in another zero um, so I don't accidentally add the wrong ones. Um, it's very important that you keep your place value. Do not change it. Uh, in decimals, you're allowed to put as many zeros as you want because, again, with the plate, with that number line idea, is it just, is this, I'm just adding more lines. I'm not making the number bigger. I'm just going back into my number line and adding another 10 between those two lines and then I want to add another I want to add another 10 between another two lines so it's not actually making the number bigger it's just breaking it up into more parts so
let's go back to the original question, 0, 7. So now I'll start to the right. 8 plus 7 is 15. So my 5 here, my, my 1, instead of there, I put up here. I've got 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Make sure I put my decimal in. 0 plus 0 is 0. So my answer is 0 0.0 1 tenth 5 sorry, one hundredth, five thousandths. That is how you add decimals. Have a great day.